Alright everyone, welcome back. This is Vapor. I'm back with uh, a quick tutorial for you guys. Now this is going to be for those people who have been asking me on how to get the StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 1 Brood War campaign campaigns to work in StarCraft 2. These are basically, uh, there's some guys that, um, and obviously all credit goes to them, I don't create these maps. Um, they created um, and these are actually the, the authors. They created basically um, the original campaigns with all the you know the same voices. Um, obviously, the models are a bit different because they're imported to StarCraft 2. Um, and they basically recreated the campaigns from you know full StarCraft 1, uh, Terran, Protoss, and Zerg. Then they have already created this, the first two campaigns for the Brood War uh, game or expansion to StarCraft 1. So the Zerg one still hasn't been released now. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get this to work and there's going to be a, a quick um, basically um, video tutorial as well as a, a quick um, description in the, the thing below. Now, um, basically I'm going to be telling you what you need to download and how you need to run it. Now, for starters, you're going to go to this website up here. This is going to be also linked below so you can have an easier access to it without actually um, without zooming into this or looking too closely. Now, once you're on this website, you need to go and find these guys here. Now, episode 1 to 5, this is um, uh, the Terran campaign, the Zerg campaign, the Protoss campaign, the, the Brood War um, Protoss campaign, and the Brood War Terran campaign. Now, the Zerg one, uh, This at the moment it is the, uh, the 1st of November 2012, uh, the Zerg one has not been released yet. I don't know when it's going to be released because I do not have anything to do with creating these maps. I was just simply asked how to, how to get these to work, so I'm going to be um, basically doing a quick tutorial for those who have not found the little guide on this website. Now, you go to episode 1 Rebel Yell and you download ma uh, the map pack. Now, you, you save all, all the things they're going to tell you to download, you need to save them into one folder so you, you can have uh, easy access to them later on. So for starters you download the map pack, then you download the mod file, and you also download the campaign launcher. Now the campaign launcher is optional, but I would definitely recommend it, it's only like a 6 megabyte download, it's pretty quick, uh, or 8 I think, and uh, it makes accessing the, the campaigns a whole lot easier. So basically you download these three files here, you don't actually need this, the, ma uh, the mod file for grid hotkeys, I didn't use it, I'm not really quite sure what it's for. But anyways, you do this for episode 1, for episode 2 you don't actually need the mod file because you already have it. You just download the map pack for episode 2. Oh and of course if you want to play it in French, Russian or Italian you can of course you know download those instead. But they do have their own mod files so do remember that. Now um, episode 3 is going to be the same as the Overmind, you just download the, the map pack. Um, but then episode 4 is going to be slightly slightly different because episode 4 is Brood Wars and it has its own mod file. Now Brood War mod uh, v4.5 so you download this this time instead of um, or it's the second mod file basically and then of course you download the, the map pack as well as doing this same thing for episode 5. Now once you have all these files I believe there's a total of 8 files uh, where there's 2 um, you should ha at this stage you should have two uh, mod files, uh, five map packs and one launcher of course. Uh, so basically once you have these files you go to you, you locate your StarCraft folder. Your StarCraft folder is most likely going to be um, C forward slash uh, program files forward slash StarCraft 2 or Blizzard forward slash StarCraft 2. Now for me it's a bit different because I actually have this saved on a, a second hard drive so for me it's different. Uh, so don't follow my guide uh, on how to um, locate, I mean don't look at this link here. Now, once you locate your StarCraft 2 folder, which should look something like this, you might have a few items missing here and there, um, such as the maps file. Now, here, when you get to this area here, you have to go to uh, maps for starters. When you get to maps, you paste, you go back to where you downloaded all your folders, you unzip them, and you paste them into this folder. So you have campaign one to five. I only have four and five at the moment because um, I already did one to three before and I deleted them. And I only have four and five left to do. Um, well, actually, correction, I did four already, so I don't even need that. Um, I only need five at the moment. Anyways, um, you go once you paste those five into here. You go back to the the folder where you downloaded all the stuff, 
and you go and find the launcher. Now the launcher is SCW, uh, SCBW uh, campaign launcher at SC2 map. Uh, you paste this in here also. This is going to be uh, a standalone file. It's not going to be inside a folder. Once you have all six files in here, you're going to go back out to your StarCraft 2 folder and you're going to locate the mods, um, the mods folder. And uh, before I get into here, actually, you might not have this folder uh, uh, with the maps on it, so you might have to create it and make sure it's a capital letter. I'm not quite sure if it's going to make a big problem if, the, if it's a small M, but uh, just try to do it like this because I guess it's probably the proper way to do it. So create that folder and paste those things into it. Now next, you're going to go to your mods folder and in here you're going to, to paste sc one War mod sc 2 mod as well as sc um, sc one mod sc 2 mod I believe the, the normal one just doesn't have Brood War on it. Now if you only want to do this, the last two campaigns which are the Brood War campaigns you don't need to download the first, uh, the first mod file obviously you just download the Brood War one. Uh, but if you want to do both, then you need to have both of these uh, in here. So once you have that done, you're pretty much set to go and play uh, the campaigns. All you have to do now is just uh, go back to the maps folder and you have to right click on this. And I'm not sure if originally it'll open with the correct thing, but what you're going to do is you're going to say open with and you're going to say choose default program. Now what you're going to need to do here is I already have this set up, but you're going to press browse and you're going to go and find um, where your StarCraft 2 installation is. Uh, for me, it's here. Uh, for you, it's going to be somewhere else. As I said, it's going to be in C forward slash program files forward slash blizzard forward slash StarCraft 2 um, or something like that. Now, you go to your StarCraft 2 folder and what you choose from here is not the StarCraft 2.exe but you choose StarCraft 2 editor.exe. So you open it with that and then you click OK. This will change the icon on it here and it's going to open it with um, with the, the editor basically. Now when you open it, it's going to look a bit blank and you're going to panic and think this is not working. You know, you have like a, a big square here and you know, what the hell. But what you need to do here is you need to press um, test document which is a SC in green, uh, well dark green uh, color and there's a little arrow coming out of it. So you click that and that's going to start launching the um, the actual campaign. Uh, it's going to bring you onto the campaign launcher. Now, um, I'm going to have to cut the video here and continue when I get into it because uh, Frap is going to have to do a little quick uh, change. So bear with me for just a moment. Now, once you have um, launched using that green arrow thing, you're going to be brought to this menu. Now, this menu is basically the StarCraft 2 launcher um, and every time you want to get onto it you actually need to open the StarCraft 2 launcher using the editor and if you did what I did earlier it's going to automatically be launched by the editor so you don't have to worry about that again. Now, here you have the selection of the six campaigns. The, the, the three on the left are going to be the original campaign and the right are going to be the Brood War campaign obviously. Now, I don't have the first, second, third, uh, first, second, third, and sixth campaigns installed because I did the first three and the last one is not out yet. So you can go into them. You can see the names uh, of uh, the missions. They're all here. But obviously, I won't be able to load them at the moment because I don't have, um, I don't have the map, the map files as well as the Brood War, or sorry, the the first can uh, StarCraft mod file. So basically, at the moment, I can't access these. But if you if you're playing all of them, you basically pick what mission you want to you want to play, and you click play. Obviously, now uh, for me, all I can do is four and five. So basically, I'm going to click four, and this is actually the campaign select, and these are the missions. So you have uh, eight missions here, as you can see. Now, Escape from Iron is the first mission, so I'm going to quickly demonstrate what exactly this looks like. I'm not going to be uh, playing any of the videos; just uh, going straight into the game. So as you can see, you're going to have a quick loading screen. Uh, it's probably going to take a little bit longer because I am recording as well, and StarCraft is a processor-heavy um, game. So that's pretty much it. This is really all you need to do to play the campaigns of Brood War and the original StarCraft on the StarCraft 2 launcher. Now, um, you click Next, and I'm not going to be reading any of this stuff. I'm just going to go straight to the thing. Now sometimes you're going to have a difficulty here, uh, a difficulty select here, so you can do that if you want. Uh, I think it's either normal or uh, on hard. Now I don't have um, 
these guys are probably talking loud. I don't know how loud they're talking, but um, I don't have the headset on at the moment. But anyways, um, you click start whenever you're ready to go into the mission. So basically, it's gonna start the mission as if you know you're playing the original StarCraft. No. Uh, that concludes this tutorial basically I really hope this helped you guys a lot of people have actually asked me this in the past on how to get this to launch because recently um, the way they changed it a little bit is you can't just uh, drag the, you used to be able to drag the the map files onto the um, the shortcut to Starcraft 2 but that has been changed so that's pretty much it uh, I'm Vapo and I hope this helped you guys uh, if you want to see a playthrough of this and you are too lazy to install it yourself you're welcome to subscribe to my channel and I already have the Protoss one up, you can find it in the playlist section. I have the original um, the original StarCraft campaigns done as well. I've done them both on the classic uh, uh, StarCraft one and I've done them on the remake as well. Um, wait, no, I haven't done them on the remake, actually, I might actually do that at some stage. Um, but that's pretty much it, I'm gonna have the, the Terran campaign going up soon and that's pretty much it. So, as usual, if you like the video, do leave it a thumbs up. And if you want to see the actual campaign yourself and you don't want to install it, then you're welcome to subscribe and stick around. So that's it. I'm Vapo and I'm out.